And once the blood was drained, then she was that didn't then even her occur to then me. she was clubbed. Bunk, bunk. Right? And I t- to be honest, part of me thought that maybe the con the, the condom was the sex was performed post post mortem too. That's kind of what I thought. Right? Because I'm like it, uh, I, everything else post mortem donkey punch. Well, that's awful. How else? How else do you account for her having no blood no and no blood on the scene? You would have to be able to yeah. control the blood going to somewhere into a receptacle, into a bin, into this creature, whatever the fuck did it. You know, whatever theory you're going to go with, you would have to be able to drain that first because if you if you club, then it's you, it's an uncontrolled bleed, right? You're bleeding profusely all over. Yeah. It'd be on the bed. The bed would be soaked, soaking it up. It'd be on the floor. There'd be splatter, and there's none. There's like you you would think if there was a clubbing motion, they'd be like, well, there's some blood splatter on the roof. There's none. There's no blood splatter at all, right? Bizarre. Well, that's weird because the coroner did say that he said that killed during the act, but he does not say. I don't know if. That, he- yeah that well he i mean that's just that was a summary that you read it's like he yeah. must have been prob, probable cause was killed during the act but yeah it doesn't explain where where's the splatter where's the i'm gonna say i'm gonna forensics. i'll go ahead on the edge like i'm smarter than a 1930s doctor <clears throat> easy well, he's, he's a, a fucking barber. barber he's a barber he's, he's a, a barber like anything. he's fucking a vet yeah. he's a Okay. Whoever, whoever so, can use the scalpel is the doctor back then. So, so like, remember how we already we mentioned on the fact that, like, this is this is the 30s, Great Depression. Everybody's pretty hard off. Nobody's doing well. Well, other than Lily, she was kind of thriving a little bit. This murderer or cryptid or whatever the hell that ended up killing her wasn't overly optim, you know, opportunistic to, other than just murdering because, like, Lily's place, she had a phone. She had a brand-new radio. She had... Two, uh, 22 kroner inside her purse and she had over a thousand hidden supposedly in her cl- in her drawers so whoever killed that her, was left whoever killed her was just after blood just after the blood after the killing the blood and the sex apparently because mm-hmm. they didn't they didn't rob her all of her stuff was left intact the house was left immaculate i would have loved to know her blood type because i like i really wanted to get in i was like it just i was like does Lily got some rh negative going on here What's your blood type, Zell? What would it taste like it? to you? You can't catch what me. It, you can't catch me what like was that. It? It's no, crazy. it's all good, man. Statute of limitations is way past. <laughs> I think you're okay. After, was after 50 years or what? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, just before we get to uh, the journalists who get a hold of the story, because obviously we're talking about a loss of blood here. So we're obviously talking about a vampire. But just obviously. before we get to, the ga- get to that, we got to take a short break, grab a beer. We're going to be Ooh. right back. We're back. So we got to go with, obviously, when this story breaks, the press gets yeah, a hold. wildfire. And the few, the few details that do emerge, like the lack of blood, the crime scene, vampire. It's called the Atlas Vampire in the headlines pretty quick. Well, yes, like how soon before this did, like, the film Dracula come out? Not, I don't think long before, like OG Dracula, no. right? Like Bram 1920 Stoker? Dracula? Stoker? No, I think Bram it's, I'm pretty sure it's like the 30s. I'm pretty sure it's the 30s, but. Oh, sorry, yeah, the 30s. But it's, no, I don't think Bram Stoker's was the first Dracula. I think the Dracula's before that. No, it's a, it was like an Italian one. It was like Lu- Bella oh, Lugosi. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's it. Came out just a year prior. So, I mean, right? vamp, because I, I mean, like actually movies are pretty new, right? Fairly new and yeah, the movies sucked yeah. back then. It's not <laughs> bad. Yeah, because they had to like play the sound yeah. while you had some yeah. guy on a piano while you're watching your yeah. fucking shitty black and white movie. Well, what was the? Fr- I'm just, I gotta find it. Really, the first talkie movie. So like, uh, there was a mo- the first movies were just movies, no sound. You had to put they had to score music. So the first talking movie was in 27 with the one mic, mono mic, terrible quality. I just realized the word so movie getting... sounds so stupid now like cuz it's motion picture, but they like people are like dumb people are like it's a movie cuz they're moving. Movie. Slang. They're it's movie cuz it's moving. Get, them. Yeah. Get it right, cat. They're so they, moving. They call so them the movie. Yeah, they call them movies and then they call them talkies, talkies yeah. for a bit. When they started talking. You going to see the talkies? talkies? So yeah. But so you first, yeah, you had first the... Dracula's not just a year before, so. So a year before and then you also have you got uh Fucking Peter Curtin, 
right? Who is the fucking demon of Dusseldorf, also known as the fucking vampire Dusseldorf. He killed nine people, right? Bludgeoned them with hammers, drank their blood. Um, psychiatrist said he suffered from the so-called clinical vampirism oh, yeah. or Renfield that's you, syndrome. That's where you think you are a vampire and you drink blood, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's, I think that's actually the clinical yeah, definition it? of it, Braden. Wow. Who needs Dan when well, yeah, you can just no bust problem. these out of your brain? Yeah. That's Sorry, what you got just, under that big yeah. ass too, okay? Sorry, Dan. Brains. Um, um, hold on. Before you get into this, I got to, I got to tell you this. So apparently, so shortly before this, uh, this demon of Dusseldorf uh, head was placed on the guillotine. He turned to the psychiatrist and asked this question. He said, tell me after my head is chopped, chopped off, will I still be able to hear at least for a moment, the sound of my own blood gushing from the stump of my neck? That would be the pleasure to end all pleasures. Oh, this guy's fucking nuts. Right. But so they, like they called, they openly called this guy, the vampire. And this, he was, he was going on his fucking massacre in the, in, in, I'm pretty sure it was 1931. He was executed prior to this, but who's to say, well, you know, you can't yeah. kill vampires. He cut his head off. He didn't put a stake yeah. through his heart. Heads regrow. When it's like, yeah. and I mean, I mean, really, I mean, you're not that far off of, you're what, 40 years out of Jack the Ripper? Is it 40? I thought it was less than maybe. that. Maybe. Jack the Ripper was end of the like, 18s. Oh, yeah, 1890s, maybe. I right. was wrong earlier. I thought. It's still relatively new. 1888 well, he, to 1891 right? were so the murders. So 40 years. He could potentially like, still he, be alive. He, this could be, right? This could. could be one of those things where, yeah. like, this is a, because we don't, we don't know who Jack the Ripper was. So if he was a young man when he started those killings, right? If he was like 20 I mean, listen, something. hey, hold on. Do we want to know? Because I'm sure we can call it conspiracy. Yeah. He'll tell us. He's got the hard line. The end of that fucking, check the who's on the other end of that fucking yeah, cue card, he's, bud? Yeah, Let he's got a know. huge conspiracy board up in his house. That's is what consumes him. That's why he's never on the show. He's just so yeah. focused on... Pepe Silva did so it. Focused <laughs> so focused on Kit Hunt Jack the Ripper. <laughs> he's getting to yeah. the bottom of it, of everything. Yeah. He solved the Zodiac ciphers, and now he's working <laughs> his way back. But speaking of Zodiac, I mean... This isn't that far off of Zodiac. Like if you're going, if you're going, hey, forty. <laughs> it's not. This is not an. Un no, you're right. Well, are we talking Zodiac or Jack the Ripper? Forty here? years after Jack the Ripper, right? So we're saying like this could potentially be yeah. an aged Jack the Ripper. But I'm also saying this could potentially or an, or an elderly or a Zodiac. Young Zodiac. Really, really young, young Zodiac, Zodiac, right? Because the Zodiac killings are thirty years after this. Yeah, so he'd be well, right. Yeah, so like, this could be potentially be like, and I'm and I only bring this up is because like, the thing that this has in common, it is a real middle placement between the two, and obviously, you know, well, no, he would have to be old because this was thirty years no, before no. it, so he yeah, would be so old. Jack the Ripper, if he was did this in nineteen thirty, yeah, so he would have been old when then he did the killings in the sixties. You said yes. Zodiac, so though. the Zodiac killer killed in nineteen sixties. Right, yes. he would have been, been young, young when he did the if he did if he, this. if he did the, the Atlas Vampire he, murder. Yeah, if he did the Atlas Vampire, he would yeah, have been young, young as fuck. fuck. Yeah. So he would have been old, old ass Zodiac. Zodiac. Right, but if you look, if That's you what look, I'm saying. he could have been fifty. Or, he could have been twenty during the Atlas, and murder, then been fifty. Because you look 50. at some of those depiction artist old. depictions, like he Back doesn't then, look old. like in the like the picture. I'm like, he looks older. Right, I, w I wouldn't say that. so. I, the only reason I bring that looks like the only reason I bring that in. The only reason I bring that into play is because it has that similarity of a, like, there seems to be a surgical knowledge. Like, that's the only way. How else are you draining someone's blood like that? Okay, so let's stick okay. on Jack the Ripper then, because I think Zodiac's fucking ridiculous. I don't ridiculous. think it's that ridiculous. <laughs> Why? There's no notes. There's no fucking like none. Nothing in this is is Zodiac at all. I would whatsoever. say I would make the. This is how the Zodiac got the taste of blood. Yeah, but yeah. but here's the thing. I'm I, uh, very quickly on this. <laughs> so so if hey listen, this is the Zodiac's first killing. Taste a little blood. Hey, no, it's not for me. I'm not yeah, gonna drink like, anybody ugh. else's blood. I'm not doing that. You didn't like, it. like the Zodiac killings weren't all this. They weren't all the coppery. same. The thing that tied them together was the notes, right? But maybe, but. They were very similar. In the sense that they were, like, put on display, there was, like, a, surg like a surgical pre preciseness to the killings. 
Yeah, the Zodiac. Other than the one where he was in the oh, leather. Zodiac wasn't precision. Yeah, the Black Dahlia. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you wanna watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.